Hi Cancer, this is your October 14th through the 20th weekly tarot reading. We'll have five separate spreads in this weekly reading. In the first spread, we'll be looking at new love venture in your life. Uh, spread number two is for those of you who are already involved with somebody. In the third spread, we'll see if anybody wants to get back together with you. Then, in the fourth spread, we'll talk about your work, your business, and your finances. And uh, the fifth, the final spread, will be what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, comment, and subscribe to support this channel. So this first spread is on new love this week, uh, Cancer. We have uh, the Ace of Cups, clarified by the Three of Cups. We have Strength. We have the King of Wands, clarified by the Two of Cups. In the potential outcome, we have the Magician with the Queen of Cups and uh, the Star. And we also have the Six of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Fire Sign. There is Leo Sagittarius. We also have uh, Gemini. Uh, Virgo, Aquarius, um, yep, that's pretty much it. Um, you're most likely dealing with a Leo <laughs> or a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We got Leo in here twice, right? Strength and the King of Wands right after another. Uh, strength is a Leo major arcana card, then the King of Wands is um, any fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. All right, strength could also be interpreted as a card of loyalty. It could also be a card of courage for this person to make this move, to uh, tell you how they feel. And uh, they're not going to hesitate. They're not going to take their time. You will hear uh, the, the words, I love you from this person very, very quickly. Very, very quickly. Hence the Ace of Cups. That was the very, very first card that came out, if, as you can see. And uh, the Ace of Cups is true, genuine, authentic love. Yeah, I love you. <laughs> That's when those words come out, right? The Three of Cups, I find the Ace of Cups. It could be a card of some kind of a party, some kind of an event. Maybe this person wants to take you out, or they may use... Um, some kind of an event is an excuse. Uh, they may approach you at an event of some sort. Because, yeah, that's what I think the Three of Cups is. An event. All right? Or if you're going on a date, I don't know, maybe they will get a mariachi band singing for, <laughs> singing for you or something like that. But jokes aside, yeah, that's what the Three of Cups is. Some kind of an event. Absolutely any type of an event. Um, the, we also have that Six of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. The Six of Pentacles is a card of generosity. Okay, uh, Leos can be very generous, any zodiac sign can be very generous, but uh, Leos in particular, they're notorious for being very generous, right? Uh, the Six of Pentacles is also a card of a choice. Some of you could be dealing with a couple of people and perhaps uh, the King of Wands is the one. You could be choosing this King of Wands, right? Um, the Six of Pentacles is also a card of an equal give and take. All right, it's a card of balance between two people. The king of the king of ones themselves is classified by the two of cups, and as you can see, we have two people in the, in the two of cups, and I assume that's the two of you in that card, right? That's this person's intention. That's what they want. They see you as uh, their as their maybe uh, lifetime partner, but it is a soulmate card, and it's also a card when both people are on the same page and feeling the same way towards one another. In the potential outcome. The potential outcome is a wish come true, like literally, Cancer. The potential outcome is literally a wish come true. <laughs> All right. Um, the Queen of Cups in the middle, I assume that's you, uh, Cancer. I think it's a reasonable assumption. To the left from you is the Magician, right? The Magician is a card of manifestation, right? Manifesting something or someone into your life or something and someone into your life. And the star right next to the deck is a card of a wish come true, wish granted. So manifesting and getting, <laughs> right? The Magician is also uh, either a Gemini or Virgo you're dealing with, but uh, the Magician, yeah, the mag both the Magician and the Star are major Arcana cards, right? Great, awesome major Arcana cards, especially together, okay? And uh, the thing about the Star, this is something we usually wish for and hope for a very long time. All right. Um, yeah, I, I really like this. I expect to hear "I love you" maybe, perhaps for the first time. And uh, if 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 it really is a brand spanking new person entering your life, they're not going to take long. It's not going to take long before you hear that. All right. Really happy for you, Cancer. Congratulations. If you are already in a relationship or married, uh, Cancer, this part is for you. We have the Two of Wands, the Two of Swords, uh, the Knight of Pentacles, clarified by the High Priestess, and we have the Eight of swords on the bottom of the deck, you could be dealing with an earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn. So you got some kind of a decision to make. And it has something to do with uh, either finances in some shape or form or something long term. Long term. All right. You definitely have a choice. 
and it's gonna bug you, it's gonna bother you actually, to be honest with you. We have two of wands and the two of swords, one right after the other, right? So two cards symbolizing very similar things, okay? Sitting at a crossroads. The eight of swords on the bottom of the deck, yeah, it's gonna occupy your mind, because uh, the eight of swords is a card of somebody who's stuck and trapped, it's a card of overthinking, Overanalyzing, but I think you have a valid reason because the last card I came out is the Knight of Pentacles, clarified by the High Priestess. The Knight of Pentacles, most likely money. In some shape or form, it's talking about money, finances, or, or something. Maybe you're thinking about investing or purchasing something, or you're thinking about uh, if you want to like move your uh, money from one financial institution to another, or you want to make like a really major big purchase because the Knight of Pentacles is usually a very decent chunk of change alright uh, the High Priest is clarifying it use your intuition <laughs> I know it's easier said than done right? but that's what the High Priestess says it's a card of intuition it's also kind of a secret secret so perhaps this is a way of the universe to uh, give you an, a piece of advice just keep it to yourselves right uh, this reading assumes you're with somebody so I assume um, it's uh, you and your person who is uh, sitting at the crossroads together. Alright, so yeah, but uh, take your time. I don't see you being rushed into this. There is, there is no, like, it's not a hot offer. It doesn't feel this way. It feels like you'll have time to wrap your head around this, process this, and then um, come up with some kind of a solution or a decision. Alright? Cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, um, uh, Cancer, this week. Keep in mind, it doesn't have to be the most recent ex. It doesn't even have to be an ex for some of you. Um, anyway, we've got the Six of Cups, clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. We have the Page of Cups, the Lovers, and the Justice on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Gemini or a Libra or any Zodiac sign. I see two contradicting things, to be honest with you. Right. First of all, both the Page of Cups and Justice could be cards of apologies. Apologies. Both of them can be interpreted as such. Right. But uh, the very first card I came out is the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups, yes, it can be somebody from the past, an ex. It can be an ex. But the Six of Cups doesn't have to be an ex. It could just be somebody from your past. So for some of you, it is an ex coming back with a whole bunch of apologies. For others of you, it's just somebody from your, from your past. Maybe you went on a date or two with this person, and then, then they just vanished, disappeared, right? And now they're coming back, and they're going to apologize for that, for, for not uh, moving forward with you, okay? So those two are valid scenarios. Uh, this is how I see this, all right? And uh, both the Six of Cups and the Lovers are soulmate cards, by the way. Okay, um, the lovers uh, could be a Gemini you're dealing with, but the lovers um, is a card of a choice. So perhaps they're gonna apologize, 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 and then you'll have to make a choice as to whether you want to accept the apology and give it and give this person another shot or not. Also, the lovers, like I said, it is a soulmate card. It's also a twin flame connection card if you believe in twin flames, and uh, the lovers could turn out to be the love of your life. Okay, the I forgot to mention that Ace of Pentacles, clarifying the Six of Cups. So this person is coming back, not with just apologies, but they, they mean it. They actually mean it. To be fair to this person, they mean it with that Ace of Pentacles. So it's a serious offer, serious offer. All right, cool. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, uh, Cancer. This week uh, we have Justice. We have the Queen of Cups, clarified by the Sun. Uh, we have the King of Swords and we have the Fourth Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. You know what's interesting about this reading, uh, Cancer? Is that we're wrapping up, we're pretty much wrapping up uh, Libra birthday season this week, right? Justice, the first card that came out, is a Libra Major Arcana card. Alright? The King of Swords right next to the deck is any air sign. Libra is an air sign. <laughs> So you could be dealing with a Libra. Maybe you're going to... It has something to do with a Libra birthday uh, this week. All right. Um, if Libra is completely out of the question, then I think you are receiving money. I think you're collecting money. Especially if you're like in the middle of a lawsuit or if you're dealing with government in some shape or form or if you're dealing with like a financial institution. I think you've got money coming in somehow. 
cancer, there's going to be money coming in. I don't know. <laughs> right? Because justice could be literally like a court order. It could be the judicial system, a financial institution, or some other government agency. Okay? Um, the king of swords right next to the deck could be a lawyer or a judge or a government worker or, a finan or like a, somebody who works for a bank or a financial institution. All right? Um, the four of pentacles on the bottom of the deck. I often refer to this card as a savings account card. That means money is coming in. Money is coming in. You're going to collect and hold on to that coin and put it aside. Put it and save it, however you save it. And as I was clarifying the Queen of Cups, I simply ask how will Cancer feel about this? Because the Queen of Cups, that's you. I think we all agree, right? And the Sun showed up. The Sun is the happiest card in the deck. That's how you're going to feel. You're going to be happy as a clam when all of this unfolds. When all of this pans out, right? You're going to be happy. You're going to be so, so happy, it's not even funny. <laughs> all right? You got money coming in. All right? Cool. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen uh, this week, Cancer. But I think at this point, you're already expecting it. <laughs> maybe you just, uh, maybe you still don't believe it. Anyway, we got the High Priestess. We have the Fool, clarified by the King of Swords. We have the Four of Pentacles, clarified by the Wheel of Fortune. And the Eight of Wands on the bottom of the deck. If that King of Swords looks familiar to you, and if that Four of Pentacles looks familiar to you, that's because you just saw them on a previous spread. And this is a different deck. I use different decks for different spreads. So what you're not expecting, yeah, money is coming in. I don't know how, <laughs> depends on the, your situation, depends on what you're, or who you're dealing with. But uh, yeah, the King of Swords, is either an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or a lawyer, or a judge, or a government worker, or someone like that. All right. Uh, the High Priestess, the first card that came out, uh, it is a card of a secret or intuition, or maybe that's it's just simply what you're not expecting, right? Hence the hence the name of this spread, what you're not expecting. Okay. The Fool could be a card of liberation. The Fool could be a card of Hey, here's money. <laughs> it's a card of taking a risk. It's a card of um, being spontaneous. But uh, it feels more like liberation, more than anything else, right? So perhaps money coming in uh, is going to liberate you in some, in some way. The Eight of Wands on the bottom of the deck is a card of communication. Uh, it's also a card of travel. It could be maybe like a, a transfer, a bank transfer, wire transfer, or a check coming in the mail something like that or maybe this king of swords will show up and hand you the check or hand you the money themselves <laughs> right or it's probably yeah most likely communication right the fourth pentacle clarified by the will of fortune yeah there you go receiving money the will of fortune it's like things are about to turn around for you once this money lands in your hands or in your bank account all right uh cancer so that's what i have for you for this reading for this week if this video resonates with you please like it please also comment and subscribe and uh, other than that uh, cancer have an amazing week